I've tried to get out the speech. No, I've been to hospital three times this week, and I've tried everything uh, possible, but it just keeps on coming back like a boomerang. But thinking back, I actually met Simon 32 years ago to this year, and you think, gosh, it was 1988 in uh, Silverdale Play School where we all met. If you can say, I, I, I put that down. Sandra reminds us all the time, but 32 years. <laughs> well, they still act the same. That's <laughs> <laughs> But knowing, I'm going to say, hopefully, it's 32 more happy years with you and Kim and, 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 and beyond, so it'll be lovely to see that. But um, obviously, I can't remember mem many memories of that, and, and Sandra's the one who keeps reminding us. But the one lasting memory we do have of Simon from when we were kids was Simon's first PE lesson. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> This, this story has come out, it's been reeled out once before oh, for one nice. more wedding when I was best man, but obviously not Simon, so he's not been married before, so don't get frightened. But <laughs> basically, we used to have a little, we, we all went to South, uh, well, it was here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's got one of them at all, yeah. <laughs> we all went to Wilford End Down Primary School in, the, in, a, in a little village. So myself, Hayden, Simon. Anyway, we used to pull, we used to have a little old timber framed climbing frame and you used to climb up it and it, it felt like you were climbing up Clifton Flats it was massive really high dead excitable so we're all on this climbing frame me and Aidan and that lot we must have been more of fives weren't we at the time Simon didn't, didn't appear he didn't come out from them so we were all playing away hanging on like this trampolines down the way and the next minute Simon comes running out the corridor with not a stitch on well, literally <laughs> Absolutely nothing on. I mean, we used to have the, the, the teacher at the time, we had a teacher, Mrs. Lewis, her name was, and she'd come, she must have been about 80 then. Anyway, <laughs> she'd run across this, this thing, tripping, pushing kids out of the way. Fucking oh, right commotion. Anyway, she's trying to grab hold of him, cover his modesty, what, what modesty he did have. Anyway, <laughs> next, and she says, she says oh, and grabs hold of Aiden and she says, Take him in the class. Take him in the classroom. Cause you used to get changed in the classroom back then. Take him in the classroom. Show him how to put his pants on and all the rest. Of it. <laughs> 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 he'd left all. Yeah, all the same. He'd left all his kit on the bloody classroom table on his and he'd just think, God. And you know, you literally, I thought he was dead excited. He wanted to go on trampoline the lot. <laughs> We were like, God, give us strength, but no. I remember being the best one, later on in life, we got to about, must have been about 12, and we all used to play football. Simon's dad used to, all the time, taking us down, crosses, playing football, didn't you, Paul? All, he was always taking us, wanting in your car, about 10 of us in a, in a what's it, five-seater car, <laughs> cricket bats and balls and all sorts in a bit. It was like JJ, JJB Sports in the back of his car, he had everything. So we got the bug about football and get back. Always used to, he always used to have the, what was it, the, the well, it was always Man United, yeah, wasn't it? Man United, United football <laughs> kit, all dressed out. <laughs> yeah. Always the latest one. Every season, mum used to take him uptown. Oh, God, we used to have all like the rags on and give him all the top of the range kids on. But anyway, we get to, we get to one day and Aidan says, we're looking for football places to play. And we used to go play on the Chateau. So the Chateau basically was an old hotel. <laughs> And it, um, it was a lovely, like, all posh, really nice sort of football pitches, but the one that was on there, they were trying to kick us off and all this. So one day, Aidan says, yeah, I've got, a, I've got a way around here. We can get around this football pitch. He says, there's a shortcut. You can either go a mile, mile or two that way, all walking, or you can cut through this electrical substation. And we says, go oh, all right, yeah, all right. <laughs> so we goes down this football, and we're right, gets all that. But anyway, it comes to about like three o'clock. Honestly, it's Sunday dinner time. You can smell the dinners. So Quentin used to get a right bollock in if you were back late for Sunday dinner. So we used to we got, scramble back over this railway thing through this electrical substation. Anyway, we get to the substation, and he had a divot underneath it. Underneath this, all this security fence, all these spikes on it. We all went underneath it, me, Aid, and all the rest of the lads, chucked football over and carried on. Not give back. Oh, I can't go out. I can't go on that. It's all mud on the ground. <laughs> my mummy says, my mum, oh, she'll fucking batter me when I get back. And Sandra, she'll fucking, oh, God. So anyway, to this day, so he says, oh, you, you, look, just, 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 you've got it. No, no, no. Jumps over this security fence. Next minute, didn't make the jump, slipped. The fencing went straight up his back. I mean, I mean, to this day, 
And he's just hanging there like that. <laughs> hanging off his fence. <laughs> and I says to him, I says, I says what, 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 what do we do with him then? He says, oh, fucking leave him hanging. Come on, I says. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's Sunday dinners. Anyway, what I just thought, oh shit, you can't leave him hanging. Anyway, so he goes back, gets him by his legs, picks him up off the thing. L- luckily, it was all right. The spike had not gone through him. Anyway, we gets him off, and he got this like night night, night, night jacket, yeah, blue night, night jacket, wasn't it? Yeah, and his football shirt, and it had gone through the football <laughs> shirt, this thing, through the jumper, and through this night. Can you remember the night yeah. night um, night jacket? All the stuffing's coming out of it. And he says, fucking hell, I'm going to get away with this. <laughs> anyway, he says, and so he gets back. He says, guys, anyway, he says, get some of this. Get some of this mud and grass. Rub it in your ear. Just rub it all in his ear. I says, tell your mum you fell off your bike. <laughs> anyway, he gets back. I always remember, I bet Donna can't remember this. We gets back and he used to have a little door on the side of the house. And we gets in there. And before he could say anything, What's happened to you? And he's all mud all over his head where we smeared it on. I said, just tell him you got it caught in your brake block as you was <laughs> come off the bike, it's ripped you, ripped you stuff. Anyway, Donna comes out. Mum, he's been stabbed! He's been stabbed! <laughs> yeah, I can't hold this one. I said, see ya, I'm off the dinner. Shut the door, we're gone. Yeah, no, it was, yeah, that was, that was growing up. Anyway, animals wise. Gibbo, yeah, he was he had birds, fish, dogs, and obviously one we can't forget was Levi. Anyway, Levi, bless him. Obviously long gone now, but uh, we all went out. We used to go out on a Sunday, didn't we? We used yeah, to go up uh, Ruddington. We start off with two pints and end up with ten pints. And Gibbo, being Gibbo, would always got one of these flipping boxes where he could tap into Sky, Diamond <laughs> Cable, Chinese Network, anything. Anyway, <laughs> we've got to about ten pints, and he says come back to mine, we can watch the next one, next match on, on the on the box. Yeah, all right. So he says, yeah, go on, we'll go taxi back. So he gets a taxi back, goes in the house, opens the door up. <whistles> Where's the dog? <whistles> He's running around, running up and down the stairs like this. Can't see anybody leave by anyway. We're looking around. He was, but he was, yeah, bless him. Anyway, we, me and him goes in the living room and Gibbo, to be fair, we end up we end up living together for a bit. He ended up living with me for a little bit. Anyway, he's the most house proud. I mean, I would have married him. He's the most house proud out. <laughs> Nothing out of place. He's always cleaning up. Just like, me? just like, yeah, he's oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> just like he takes, just like Sandra's installed yeah. into him, not Paul. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So the yeah. So we get up. Anyway, awesome. Me and Aidan goes in the living room. There's literally a bag of rubbish all over the living room carpet. Half a salmon, milk bottles a lot. Anyway, we're <laughs> like, the bacon. The fuck's happening here? I thought, dirty boss, he's not, he's not, literally not tied up for a long while. It's all over the carpet, everywhere. Anyway, next minute, still looking for the dog. He's gone in the other room. We see he's the settee, he's like jumping a bit, like, I think, what the bloody hell's gone here? All the cushions are moving. We looks at each other and says, what's going on here? Anyway, we looks around the back of this, all stuffing everywhere. The dog had ate its way through the back of the settee. <laughs> and we're literally, anyway, he come running in. Don't let off, you know, the usual, with his slipper, throwing slippers at the dog, chasing it round. Oh, God, it was like, honestly, it was like some of Benny Hill, but, you know, oh, God, it was, yeah. That was, that was Levi for you. But, uh, but Kim, so we're going about Kim next. So Kim, <laughs> no way, no, there's nothing nasty. I mean, like I say, we, we all know where they met. They met in Asda and obviously happy to this day. But Kim used to come and stop with us. So we, used to, we, we lived on Silverdale, obviously when I was living, I was living on my own and Gibbo, was, Gibbo moved in with me. He moved all his furniture in, all brand new beds, everything. I'd only just done the house out. I thought, bloody hell, had doubled, if not tripled all my furniture. Anyway. We used, Kim used to come and stop over and we'd, we'd all have a drink or whatever. Hey, about two in the morning, I had a dog at the time, so I, I've still got him now, but I had this, I had this, I've got Labrador anyway, at the best of times, he's a bit boisterous, but we were all in bed, I was the girlfriend. Not together. No, not, <laughs> not together, not together, no, no. We're all in bed at the time, anyway, and I was in bed, Kim and Gibbo used to live in the best room at the back, the warmest room, he got the best room, I lived in the front, with a, well, I say lived in the front, Girlfriend at the time. Anyway, we is this almighty dog's going mad. He normally, I mean, he used to, he'd bark and all the rest of it, but he went barking in a weird way. So he went down the stairs, gets down there quick, 
Anyway, looked out the window, they were being robbed. Anyway, they were literally for use with hoods on. All I got was my pants on anyway, so so oof, should I run out the front door just to go and grab hold of them and have a, have a fracas. Next minute, I'm like, oof, ready to get chased, nothing on, just no shoes on. And I see, oof, runs out, the, runs down the stairs, Batman. And I thought, what the fuck? <laughs> what's going on here? I've got my pants on. We're in good shape at the time. We're, we're playing footy and all the rest of it, so we want in bad shape. And he'd got Batman pyjamas on. <laughs> and run down the stairs and started giving chase. Me and my pants, Batman here next to me, running after me. And we'd, we'd got no chance. They'd got like ears on or wherever. <clears throat> they'd, they'd pegged it well off. Batman <clears throat> retreated, run back. <laughs> I had a brand new company car at the time. He'd run back, grab my keys, and before you can know it, the Batmobile were off. He went down the road. <laughs> fucking hell. This, honestly, smoke coming out of it. Across the pavement. The police, it, the, he left the police behind. They were, they were gone. They were, oh, I thought, bloody hell fire. I thought, I'm going to explain this one, I think. But no. But no, bless her, Kim. She used to, I used to work away a lot in London all the time. I was always working away. And we used to have Mojo. Mojo was always stuck. Kim was always walking him. You're an avid animal lover, aren't you? Bless you. You love your dogs and animals and stuff. But yeah, I was gutted the day they moved out. I thought, oh my God, Mojo were crying. I was crying. I thought, I've lost my dog walking. <laughs> Mojo's lost his friend. But it did get a bit fracas. One day, I used to ring in all the time. I've got to stop in London. There's a meeting. I've got to do this. I'd ring them up. And it was summer's day. Anyway, they'd gone walking the dog again. And he never used to come back. He was literally never like a boomerang. He'd just run and run and run. And they'd be out there hours with him. Anyway, of course, he goes in the brook. We used to have a stream near us. He goes in this brook and he pulls out a dead rat. Anyway, you remember that one? Run round and round and round and round this field. I'm not taking him again. All this business. You can sort your hand dog out. And I was just oh, bless you. But no, honestly... Never met an animal lover like you. Obviously, you love your animals, don't yeah. you? Bless you. <laughs> yeah, and that's why she took to Simon. Yeah, yeah, there is that. But no, God bless you. But no, I mean, obviously, there's loads more stories to say, and I'm not going to keep on boring you the rest of it. But no, really happy for you. It's, it's been like, you know, you've had a, it's, been, it's been great having you. Great though in Nigga, but I'm gonna say you'll make it down the pub boat, it won't seem you know. After it. <laughs> After it, yeah. The lads at the harvesters called yeah. anyway, no, yeah. but uh, but no, no, I'm gonna say I'll not go on and on and on, but uh, I guess to the bride and groom, so if everybody can stand up yeah. and raise their glance. <laughs> to the bride and groom, bride and groom. Yeah. Many happy years. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Well done, mate. He tried. I've tried to get him to do it. Oh, you're nice. No, no, no. All right, later we can take it now. Gifts to give out, just very quickly.